Look, ever since we got invaded by an alien warmonger from space, things have been weird, but never giant robots weird. Henshin a go go, baby. Uh huh. Do I get to go? Uh. Yeah! Oh no! Oh, you just squish all the. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hey there, strangers, my name's Zeos, and welcome back once again to Freedom Planet 2. We're continuing, we're getting to the end of this. I am so excited to play more of this game, I really am. So, uh, what do you say we jump right in? So we've got Robot Wars, we've got Echoes of the Dragon War, ooh, I like that, and Justice in Sky Paradise. Let's go ahead and go with the, the lowest difficulty one first and work our way up, why not? So, Robot Wars, Snake versus Tarsier. I think Tarsier's a, a type of animal bug thing. We will not be able to go anywhere else until we finish this, so what do you say? We jump right into it. Here we go. Oh, oh dear. Ooh, here we are. <laughs> I forgot it was gonna be like that. Hey, it's the Zulon jungle. Happening in the jungle nearby. Uh huh? Safe bet it's Carol doing her Carol thing. Pretty breaking it everything. Is. I'll snip her out. She smells very safely, unique. But do not forget what she has done. Oh, there's sexual face with no. Oh, that looks cool. And weird. They all have kind of an anime face. They have like really short noses, which is weird because they're all animals. Anyway, um, we've got our. Uh, what were the two items we have currently equipped? Oh, I forget you can do uh, setups. That's cool. I like that. So we currently have elemental bursts to attack. Ooh, water damage. And our shadow clone. I like those. Onward we go. Do level gimmick. Yeah! Before we do anything else, I'm going to show you the thing I keep saying I'm going to show. And that is. Photograph mode! There's a photo mode <laughs> in this game. Oh, I guess you have to land first. Okay, hold on. I will get to this part first. We have a photo mode in this 2D game. How freaking cool and adorable is that? It's like, look at this! Look at- oh, it's so angry! <laughs> you take- do we have like a- uh, oh, hey! Achievement, everybody! <laughs> I, I guess I never did the part. Then you got your, your save things. But the fact that this is like, it's a 2D game, but you can do like your- your thing with the, the poses and stuff is really cool. Anyway, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and let's restart this <laughs> so we can get a, a good time. I think that's cool. This game is a passion project. It's good. Look at the weird skull thing in the background. Away we go. Ooh, shield right off the bat. Uppercut. Oh, hey. Have we seen one of those? I, I know we saw those in the original game. Um, I don't know if we've seen. Oh, another one. Okie dokie. Is it supercharged? I don't know. I'm really trying to get this gym. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you making me look like a fool. Ooh, how are these trees alive? <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a... I, I keep apologizing for it. I shouldn't. I like this game. Oh, hey, I think you were in the previous game, too. Ow. <laughs> Looks like it. Um, but there's a lot of, uh, lot of charm. Like, they're doing a lot of cool things, and I like it. And I want to express my liking. Oh, that thing's dead. <laughs> he didn't like it, but I like that he didn't like it because he's dead now. Away we go. I don't know what I just launched off of. I was in something and I was out of something. Hold on. Health, which we don't really need. Oh, uh, uh, I, I saw a human. You! Is your giant... Is it even bigger? You can't hide from me, monkey boy. Ooh. Return this syntax room to me at once. But only your mind. Oh, your mind. <laughs> He's told his tech from the previous game. I mean, it really is. Squish the little the monkey, please. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, they're just in the background fighting. Holy crap, that's great! What was I gonna look at back here? I've already forgotten. I know it's, it's cool things happen, I've lost track of everything. Oh! Just pew! Oh, that's cool. Uh oh. They're just fighting back there. That's so cool! Oh no, I wanted to be up there. Oh no! Hold on, we're gonna see what's up there. Seems like a secret, maybe. I love the writing. I, I, I they had a couple comments like, yeah, the writing's okay. I'm like, I, I guess you're entitled to your opinion, but it's good! Okay, hold on, one more time. If I, if I mess up this time, I'll cut it out, because I'm gonna get up here. Whoop. Okay, so we just need to not use that boost at first. Uh, uh, or use it earlier. Hey, there we go, it was a chest. Hey, the Zulon jungle. But I like that, the, like, the annoying little monkey from this game... Like, I, well, I like those reoccurring characters, it's not just the main villain that came back again, you know, because a lot of games and stuff will do that, and it's kind of lazy. Um, also, hello, uh, chicken walker laser robot. It's, it's almost like a... It's almost a Star Wars, but not quite. Stay, 
stopping in the air because I want to see the detail. I love how you just kind of skip a lot of stuff like going pew. What's on top of this? It's down here. I can. Ooh, it's going that way. Oh, it's dead now. <laughs> I guess. I don't. Oh, what was that? I picked up something. Ooh, was that one of those double boosts? Oh, hi. Um, I'll I'll be. I'm gonna kill you. So we're, like the little mini bosses are just a thing we have to deal with now. That's cool. But yeah, I like that they, they bring back the serpent guy. I'm surprised he's not dead. I thought we exploderized him. Um, but it makes sense. We have a little weird tech-obsessed uh, monkey that stole his tech because he had to have tech. He's a snake. He doesn't have hands. <laughs> That's kind of a problem. Uh-huh. You don't say. Uh-huh. Uh, mm, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> I'll find ways to break your game. Don't worry. Uh huh. Ow. Oh. No. <laughs> uh huh. Just having a conversation mid mid game. I'm sure I was gonna comment on things, but look at that. I mean, she's got a point. Between, like, trees and the safety of, like, sentient beings, obviously sentient beings. But you also need to keep the trees alive because that's how the sentient beings survive. It's kind of the point. <laughs> anyway. Whoop. Hold on, I'm gonna break this real fast. Yeah! I don't know what that does. Have I figured that out before? Oh, it's the thing that lets me shoot the things. Ah, it's the thing thing. Got it. <laughs> I use words sometimes. <laughs> Oops, grab this. Am I want you to go that way? Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be in there. Or am I? Aha! No, I'm not. I can't jump out of that. I'll find a way to break your game. I told you this. <laughs> Don't worry. It is my promise to you. I will break something. Ever so often. Anyway, I'll just be out. A lot of rockets to deal with, but I just keep dragon boosting. It should be fun. Whoop. Oh, thank you. I can probably go that way and get something. Oh, you can break the little uh, umbrellas off of those? Umbrella? It's a parachute, you idiots. <laughs> yeah, you know the umbrellas. The umbrellas they use to, uh, you know, umbrella your way down uh, safely from an airplane. That's what you call them, right? And then you use your parachute when it rains. Obviously. What, are you dumb? Oh, hey, they're both together. They're dumb. <laughs> they died together. They, they Together, they were foolish enough to face lilac in combat. And so, that, did you shoot through a wall and hit that guy? That would have been really impressive if, you know, you weren't dead already. Ooh. Okay. I'll try. I love... Oh! Is it seeking everybody? Because I'm not the person you're aiming at. You don't know I'm here, I think. Uh, I mean, I've expressed my love of micro-missiles. Yep. Micro-missile! Just, like, lots of little secret missiles everywhere. And w especially when it does that. And you see everything being targeted. Like a and then they all fire off. Oh, so good. Love me some of that. And any, like, game that gives you a mech. Ooh, what are you? Uh, terrifying and deadly? Oh, you're not hurting me? You look like the thing that was in the first game. In the first boss thing. Anyway, I love that you have in the background this big mech. I'm invincible! Okay, Boris. I've been playing Goldeneye, so that's a relevant reference to me. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to do that. <laughs> Maybe it is. Who knows? Somebody. Hold on. I was gonna grab the- Oh no, that's a lot of those. Now, hold on, I gotta go- uh, uh, Okay, they didn't get in here somehow. <laughs> that was just a lot all of a sudden. It was terrifying. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get this right. There it is. Away! There's so much going on. <laughs> but not like a confusing amount. It's cool. Who? Oh, monkey! Wait, so I have to be at the monkey while he's still attacking the monkey. Why isn't the monkey distracted by the giant snake robot? Oh, yeah, he make you hit your own stuff and then hit you in the process. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, good. Love it. Loving all of it. Hey, come over here. Right, right about... Ow. Right there. Maybe... Uh, I'll just do this. Oh, that's how I get you to open it? No, not that time. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> I boosted just in time. Okay. I'll just uh, avoid you. Come on. Come on, stupid monkey. How'd I get my friend to that? Maybe I'm not- maybe it's just a thing that can happen. I love what I'm supposed to be doing. I love how you just stick to ceiling sometimes. <laughs> she might be part- part dragon, part Spider-Man. Not part spider, just Spider-Man, specifically. I can't say Spider-Man. But you're mean. I can't talk. Whoa! Yeah! Suck it, stupid monkey! I'm actually surprised- I didn't expect, like, reoccurring, like, boss character fights. And go! Oh, no, I didn't have my boost. And also, you weren't open anyway. Ow! You gotta be more open to criticism of me trying to kill you. Huh. 
Uh, seems pretty critical, you know, trying to kill somebody. I don't like your very existence. That's my my take on your being. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah! Perfect! There you go. You get thing to slowly follow me in a way he's gonna be. He comes along here a lot. There we go. Yeah! Suck it, robot monkey man! Lady, I don't know what you are. You're a monkey. Boom. I want all those other ones to have, like, seeked it and exploded it. Suck it? No, suck it. I don't know what the past sense of something seeking is. Anyway, hey, mission down! That's in the last time. Hey, we might get missions in this level. Th this level? <laughs> missions in this video, sorry. I'm excited, my brain's not working anymore. So that was the Julian Jungle. Now to the Nalayo Lake. So is it possible to go back and replay any of these levels? I don't know. I also totally forgot about my whole uh, Shadow Clone thing. Ooh, cutscene. Syntax is here too? <gasps> it's like. Uh oh. Well, it's like a jungle in here. Wow. What a great observation. Oh, uh oh. Uh huh. But she's very dangerous. Uh huh. I wonder if Revan's gonna come back and you have to, like, fight Revan and the, the other lady. But they take each other out. And she'll be redeemed or something. The BFF 3000. All three combiners can be operated by a single pilot. Oh. Uh huh. She's gone. <laughs> Maximum scream. Where did she go? I get the feeling we're about to find out. <laughs> Where'd she go? I don't know. I'd, I'd want to run away too. I was hearing this for too long. That is so big! I didn't know it was that big! <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, it was theirs. Hello. It's so big! I want that one! I mean, you stole theirs. I don't. I, that's probably not true. Did you get hit by a coconut? <laughs> I mean, it is kind of. Wait, what's Bakunawa? I forgot. Is that the, the big dragon thing we pretended to fight for that was a hologram? Maybe. <sighs> but but he's dead, right? But he's dead, right? It's hand. Look, it's just squish everybody. Just going, and then you win. Oh. Does Mila have secrets? Oh, that's fair. What? How did you know I was a snake? Is it because you killed me before? So you're not only a cheat, but a liar too. Is he gonna have like an even bigger robot later? <laughs> Then witness the power of a fully operational, operational. Fully armed and operational. Do it. Oh no! I can see those, the Matrix. Oh, they're in the Matrix right now. Oh. How's it my controlling those? I don't even really know where those came from. <gasps> they're green now. Oh, she made them. He made them? I don't know. Monkey made them. I like how they change green somehow. Infections Well, I mean, might of our mutually assured destruction. I believe a truce is It's a good way to suddenly make him a threat again. I feel like that's it's warranted to be a uh, be a scared now. I am very scared of the stupid snake. Oh no, they're avoiding my attacks. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. There's some goo there. How's the bouncy bouncy? Oh, uh, I guess I was never mind bouncy. Are we are we supposed to be fighting? No, I'm going this way now. <laughs> Oh, hey, we haven't seen those in a while. I'm going to assume this is an infinite number of zombo bots. Oh, they're coming out of the ground. They're all grody. So I, I guess... But we destroyed Rev and stuff before. Did those all get stopped? I don't remember if they're actually supposed to be robots. I thought they were, like, sentient or something. Because they got the little eyeballs in there that fly out whenever they're destroyed. What's down here? Ooh, is it stuff? Is it rings? This ring, though. Well, it gets me out of the water. Well, what's in the water? I want to know. Ow. Oh, it's spikes and robots. Oh, I could have gotten that upstairs. Ow. <laughs> Hold on. i going to find my way out of here before we uh, run a bear. Whoop. There we go. Now, let's see what was in this hole. Nope, I'm, I'm exploring. I keep touching the ground like a moron. <laughs> it's fine. It's a lot of loops. I'm wondering if it's going to drain the water and we'll just be down here later. I'm going to call that. That's probably what's going to happen. You'll see. My... The intuitive gamer genius will be known. Ooh, that's cool. What is this? <gasps> oh, like, oh, I'm missing stuff. Come back. I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Surf on the water and then run on the water. Oh, it's so good. Maybe you are supposed to go down here anyway. I don't know. Hey, when do you give me the, the breathing thing? Oh, I already have it. Okay, cool. I got my shield at some point. Don't know when that happened. 
Hello? I I'm wanting to be right. Quick, make all the water go away. So that people will think that I'm smart for once. No? Okay, no, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a tall order. <laughs> Trying to make people think I'm smart. But, you know, it was, it was worth a shot. What's up here? More robots! I didn't- uh, you were so fast. How are you so- I thought dragons were supposed to be super fast in this universe. Would you stop that? Ow. <laughs> didn't work at all. <laughs> Background's nice, though. Look at it. Look at that background, everybody! Dude, dude, mark that off your, uh, your bingo cards. You know, playing a pixel art game and saying, look at the background. But, I mean, come on, a lot of the times look really good. Gotta give me that self. <laughs> I need the one that, like, attracts all of the, uh, the things. I'll just be over here. I don't need your bridge. Whatever it's made of. Your plant bridge. Oh, wait, am I just back here? Oh, yeah, I went up the first time. Could I have gone around? I don't know. Do I want to hit this? I may not have. But I got it anyway. Now I can shoot laser boomerangs. I don't know. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this. If you get hit, it's your own fault. Also, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for getting hit by my terrible attacks. There's so many. There's a level near the end of, uh, well, in the first game. Oh. Oh, wait, are we going to get them or are she going to use that to attack us? Because we have three friendos right here. If we get to use the giant robot, <laughs> it doesn't go to complain. How do I get over there? Hey, let's, let's try going around the other way first, I guess. Um, I totally forgot that now I'm just thinking like, can I have the robot? Because I want the robot. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Let's, uh, see what's up here, and then maybe up here, or maybe one of these up here. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Um, this way. Who? Is this the thing? No, I don't... Okay, here's another one. Am I supposed to do something with these, or I just have to touch them all? I assume it's just showing me where to go. I don't know. Well, we're gonna try this way. That might have been the wrong way. Oh, no, it's fine. We're good. What am I supposed to be finding? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Sorry. Uh, in the previous uh, game, near the end, you had the uh, the Dreadnought. It's like the final Dreadnought Part 3. There's uh, a bunch of times you're in, like, a Brevin ship, and you just had areas where it's full of enemies. And it was very clear, like, that one, this game is really combat-heavy. It's kind of cool. Um, but you're not supposed to fight them all. Just just keep running. Just, just the, the, It's meant to be overwhelming odds, because, hey! Because, uh, you know, it's, he's a, a space pirate ruler man. Oh, look at the background! I mean, sorry, I actually meant it that time. It's either a wolf or a dragon. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I made a rock. Hello. I'll just be, uh, I'll ignore all that. Um, but yeah, so it's similar to that. Hopefully we're not getting... This isn't Final Dreadnought 3, is it? That'd make me sad. We need more game. More game! Never-ending game! Actually, never-ending would be a problem. But, you know, more good quality game. I do not know where we're supposed to be going here. Ow! Okay, there's apparently a problem right there. It's the end of the level and it spikes. Ugh! Let's go along here, run up that because I'm temporarily invincible. Where am I supposed to be going here? <laughs> like those little arrows, that's what I'm following. Oh, hey, we found one. Okay, so now we know how this works. It's showing where these platforms are, I guess. Yeah, part one. What do we get first? Is it oh, hey, it's the tiger lion thing. Liger? Hey, Liger Zero. Yeah, what's the uh, Zoids? Who remembers Zoids? I remember Zoids. I barely ever watched Zoids, but I thought it was neat. I just want to kind of like go back and look at it. It's probably not very good, but I don't know. I want to watch it anyway. Ooh, I mean, what's what's stuff like about giant robots? Hey, there's the bird one. I forget what the last one is. So we had we had a bird, we had a, a tiger lion, and uh, I don't think it was a monkey. I don't remember what the last one was. So, well, no, it wasn't even a bird. It was a pterodactyl or something, wasn't it? I don't know. But I'm taking a lot of damage here because I just keep touching the spikes like an idiot. Not a no hit run here, unfortunately. I need to find another one of those things to stand on and tell me where to go. I guess I should probably kill you. I don't want you to respawn. But oh, okay, I'll be up here. Never mind. I guess I'm in this now. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go left. Oh, hey, I thought this was spikes. It's not. Ow. Well, that was unfortunate. I just used my boost. <laughs> Alright, I need to actually go down to the left. But I need heals somewhere. Ah, oh, come on. I was in the middle of my, doing my double jump instead, just dropped out of it. Don't want to die. Don't want to die. That'd be embarrassing. Also, I still have this. How about you take the damage for me, Shadow Clone? And I'll, I'll learn from your experience of you dying and be like, hey, let's not do that. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty smart. Still left. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it's the one we saw way over there. Okay, so up we go. Uh, I don't know. Do I need to go down and around? Try this one more time. Okay, let's, I'm assuming you have to go down to get the. Oh, one more hit and we're done. 
Okay, oh, maybe it's just right here. Oh, nope, don't touch that. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Okay, so, come on, come on. Just laser focus, laser focus. No touchy, no touchy. Yay, there's health. We did it. Yeah, what are you? I don't know. Here's a falcon. I don't know. I am invincible. And here comes the other big one. And then he just squishes her. Yeah. Pension. Say it. Activate. Activate. No, no, no. Don't you know how this works? Haven't you watched Sentai? That song in Power Rangers is required for this thing to function. Of course, style or function. Uh oh, activate, activate, activate. <laughs> Henshin and Go-Go, baby. Beautiful Joe for you. Uh-huh. Do I get to go? Uh. Yeah! Oh, no! Oh, you just squish all the bow! Oh, yeah! Oh, come on, I can't hurt them. Can I? I'm trying to figure out how to, do you, like, stomp on them? I guess? I don't know. Well... I don't know what's going on, but it's, oh, I can test. Wait, is this just the, the this is just the level, and we get to break the level? <laughs> oh no, there's a thing I didn't get earlier. Can I get out of this? Come on, everybody, get out. We, we gotta we gotta go collect stuff. Oh, okay, we're just gonna break through. These, <laughs> like how the bounce pad works one time, and that's how is this water holding you up? I don't. I still don't know why it becomes a rabbit. It doesn't really make any sense. You know, in the context of it's made out of all these other things that definitely aren't rabbits. I'm trying to- I, I can't double jump with this. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm a little fat. Don't- don't mind me. Oh, I can charge up for missiles! Yeah! <laughs> now I am the Titanfall. It's- it's the only thing that's ever used that, right? Gundam, Gurren Lagan, other things. There's lots of robots and- oh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Go! Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I know this is probably not as interesting to anybody else, but, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. Like, we had to fight this thing, I was like, oh, it's cool, we fought the big, uh, giant, weird rabbit bot. So, yeah, would you like to control the giant rabbit bot and just get to plow through a level that you just went through that was a pain in the butt? Actually, what's in the background? Okay, so that's like, oh, it's a dragon-looking thing. There it is again. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe it is. Anyway, let's dash over here. Murderize everything. Here we go! It's so good. All right, just charge this up to see somebody interesting, like a big stupid snake man. Well, he's not really that big. He's in a big machine. Hello. So I thought he was—he is still bigger than that thing by uh, quite a bit. Probably not as maneuverable though. I like how he says nothing. Nope. No thanks. Have that. Who? Ha! Wait, I can't do anything with that, can I? Just shoot him. Just shoot him a lot. Oh, he's, he's blocking. He's blocking like a coward. I'm trying to run away like a hero. Ugh. Okay. So he's got. More than I do. I don't know if I can do it. Can I shoot these down? Okay, just don't. Ooh. Yeah, take that in the back. Yeah. The secret missiles are definitely the way to go. Just stay away. Stay away, you stupid snake man. I keep just the right distance. He's probably too dumb to realize that he should block. Yeah, I just keep doing the back and forth. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm exploring the AI, as I should. Haha. -ha. I'm gonna finish with the stab. Or should I finish with the micro missiles? I don't know. Anyway, I haven't even got to say it with, with this thing. So, micro missile! I was saying it was cool when he was using them on me, but now I get to use the micro-missiles. Here we go. Here we go. Time for stabs. Ready, and dash through his attack and stab him. Ooh. Why does he have a snake tongue? Like, on your robot. Why would you bother with that? So unnecessary. Bye! Loser, loser, you're a loser, and you are super dead now. Yeah! Away we go! Where, do we have to find one of those tiny cards at the end of this? Tiny card? No, no we're leaving. Bye! Do we get to keep this? Can I please just have it? Let me go. Oh. Uh. Well, this is awkward. Uh. So can I, uh. Okay, maybe, maybe there was a thing back here. <laughs> Hello? Excuse me. Hi, right, me. Coming through. Hello? Hi. Yeah, there it is! Tiny car. Oh, wow. I like that they actually shrunk the sprite down. So you can see how big that thing is. It's awesome! I am amused by simple things, and I know what I like. <laughs> oh, I should have done photo mode on that thing. Anyway. Brevin's super dead still, right? Why does it look like a bunny? I don't understand. Victory! <laughs> now, punch her in the face, now, lock her up, take the robot. Huh? It would make the rest of the game really easy, but still. Guys? Guys? Hello? 
Wait, why did we left her with both? You guys are jerks! I agree. But we left her with both robots? I that may be a serious problem. She has the snake bot. It's gonna come back and combine later. Oh, it's gonna be like Mega Dragon Sword. Also a little mean. I'm just glad that's over with. Mm-hmm. Is it though? Lilac, about what Serpentine said. It's okay. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. I trust you over Snake Man any day of the week. That's fair. She hasn't really done anything bad, but also, talk, what, what secrets we got going on here? I want to know. Now let's go find Carol. Okay. <laughs> Tell her that she missed piloting a robot. She's gonna be so mad because Carol's a dork like me. <laughs> you don't seem all that hung up about Carol. Carol's mm -hmm. Carol, I guess. I mean, she ran off in the last Still game too. Still to do things her way. She hasn't changed at all. Not uh -huh. in the way you did, right? What's that supposed you? to mean? Just saying, you can't blame your friends for not growing up as fast as Super you. Safe. Oh yeah, like you gave me a choice. And mm. you're still holding on to that. Oh, they have a You stole me from past. my family before I was even oh. hatched. Oh. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to oh. hold on to that. How old is he? I was a kid. A kid who needed to get in good with the scarves. Uh -huh. I'm sorry that I picked your egg, but that's how it was. We're lucky but that I even found my alive, I guess. Lucky? Lucky that I never got to know my parents? Lucky that I discovered I was huh. a living trophy? They Ooh. wanted the egg for the pool room. It was luck. It was good that they didn't mind when you hatched. Uh -huh. Things could have gone a whole lot worse. I have a criminal record from being raised by a bunch of thieves, Spade. I feel like that I should be held against you. Because my wanted posters were everywhere. Oh. You want me to say, Backstory. I'm sorry, all right? Like half the way I'm through the second game. Your life didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. Oh, punch him in the face. Brought you along Dragon ride, dash him into the ground like a Mortal Kombat here, attack. Okay. It's not okay. And I'm sorry about that, too. I'm sorry that's not okay. This is why we don't talk. Because you're a jerk? <laughs> I mean, things happen, but also you'd be like, it's not my fault, shut up. We have to say, reports of giant robots in the vicinity are false. What? Lies designed to ruin our perfect Parusa holiday experience. Guar. Uh, please continue to enjoy your, st uh, your stay, knowing you are safe from being crushed underfoot by giant mechanical monstrosities. Guar. I think you might be evil incarnate. I'm just saying. I might as well talk to these people. Hey, you want to be another Roly Poly? <laughs> I know what I would do. Uh, wait, I know what to do when there's a forest fire. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> wait for it. You're not rolling. Ma'am, your child died again. <laughs> or is that a bulk interruptions? I don't know. Yes, when the, the volcano goes off, stop, drop, and roll. And by that, just lay down on the ground, like face first, and you'll be fine. Uh, your skills are most formidable. Uh, Kai Bagun? Sure. Uh, taking down one giant robot followed by stealing another? Impressive. It really is. I'm pretty cool. Uh, I was not expecting to encounter nearly the number of explosions that I did today. Very exhilarating. And normally you probably shouldn't expect explosions. Also, we forgot to go in that building. Uh, ooh, a halo bird. We didn't see you before. Uh, Mom keeps telling me I should get married. She's like, we, we gotta save our species and we're in danger. And I'm like, I'm studying. I don't have to build time to build a nest. What do you mean? What am I studying? Lots of things. I want to keep my career options open. I mean, bo both of these things are important. Your personal growth is good. Also, you're endangered. How does that work in this context of, like, sentient cre- I don't know. Um, look, ever since we got invaded by an alien warmonger from space, things have been weird. But never giant robots weird. And was that General Serpentine out there? How could you tell? I, I guess, I don't know how close it was to the town. Uh, I thought we drove him off this planet, along with his boss. I thought we killed him, like, twice. But uh, apparently not. You know what the biggest we uh, weakness of a giant robot is? Broadswords! I think this guy might have a thing. Uh, both in terms of them getting sliced up like butter, and also they don't use broadswords themselves. I, I agree, that giant robot should totally use a broadsword, so that we, we could use it. <laughs> that would be great. Alright. Hey, Buff Lady, you got to Oh, hey! Uh, Amy has something to say. Giant robots! Reminds me of Tarsier. Uh, of Atars here. They used to follow me around like a tail. Like tail? Oh, okay. they're not orange though. Um, great at building machines. Not so great talking to people. B maybe his name is Miles Tails Prower. I think he wanted to be friends. But whatever, I just asked him his name. Uh, he screamed. Weird kid. <laughs> okay. Hi there. You look like you could crush somebody. Anyway. <laughs> She's so buff. Look at her. And crush him with your thighs. Um, shut up. Uh, giant robots in our jungle? 
Well, given the leftovers from the alien invasion a few years back, chances are high to extremely high, but still... Gra grabbed the twins for a throw-in, or for a throw-down. But by the time I got there, all oh, the action had dried up. Figures, I didn't get a chance to, to wrestle the giant robot. I mean, I might bet on you, you look pretty cool. Um, but also, I don't think that's how that works. Sounds like an issue on the roof. Did you see the throwdown? No, I, I don't know what happened. See the throwdown between the Joe's giant robots? They nearly stomped on my ube! Oh, then they would have killed us. Do we, do we know how strong you are about your ube? Or when he regards us. Um, and here I thought uh, getting water and proper sunlight would be my biggest worries. Living on the whole tropical island thing, I guess so, maybe? Anyway, so uh, I realized we never went in here. What is this? Oh. Tropical resort land? Huh. Uh, where did you come from? Were you in the vending machine? These meticulously carved panels show the history of Perusa. From the Earth Dragon's first encounter with the Water Dragon tribes, to the subsequent enlightening of the tribes and the Earth Dragons bringing the gift of advanced technology and civilization to the Water Dragons. There were horrible, disgusting monsters. Can you believe anyone would ever not want to punch them in the face on sight? <laughs> Especially not you, Water Dragon. And finally, to the Water Dragons' cruel betrayal. Why is that not wobbling? resulting in the extermination of all the water dragon uh, kind for the good of the world. Quar! You're a, you're a strange little weirdo, aren't you? Anyway, just making sure there's nothing else to read there. I didn't look at anything, it was just, uh, she's gonna show up and talk about everything. Oh, you're a creep! A creepy weirdo, how am I hearing you from out there? Pay no attention to the museum employee clinging for dear life outside. These information kiosks are completely automated with pre-recorded narration and are definitely not broken because we're so great Ugh. okay what's on this side make you go around the other side bing bang and actually is working welcome to our recently installed information dispensal ex experiential audio kiosk aka aka idea uh, learn about the history and culture of the water dragons and their many achievements uh, hear these stories and more through the uh, technology of idea idea and sponsored by redacted but I thought the water dragons were the bad ones in your eyes. Settlements. Long before the water dragons came to settle the land, their civilization spanned the sea floor of this world. But if they can breathe underwater, why can't I? I don't. Is she not a water dragon? Am I being stupid? I, I thought that was a thing. I mean, she does use water attacks. Um, they were made up of clans of different sea-dwelling races and separated by language and culture. But over time, uh, these... Uh, D disparate communities came together in the spirit of harmony and cooperation, forming the people we refer to as Water Dragon. Why, why are you? Why are these all in bold? Um, perhaps due to their biodiversity or the adaptability of their bodies, the Water Dragons were naturally gifted in the field of biotechnology. <laughs> From tweaking physics traits to wait, physical traits to uh, specialized genetic enhancements that allowed them to live on land, everything, everything was possible with their science, but I thought they were stupid, like, inbred, not smarty monster people or something, according to you. You keep saying they're horrible monsters. However, in order to receive the Earth Dragon's gift, the Water Dragons bound themselves to physical hom homogeny, homogeny, uh, putting an end to their wild experimentation. Physical, so they made them all similar. So they, they were all of different clans and races and stuff. They used science to make them all similar, I guess, but why? But why, though? That's the one I read, right? Yes. All right. Uh, moon worship. Sure, why not? I hear that the moon was the first waterbender, <laughs> according to Avatar. Uh, and then also the water tribe in Avatar 2, the movie, not the, the show. The show was good. The movies are like, eh. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> water dragons uh, venerated the passage and phases of the moon, uh, worshiping our natural satellite in the night sky. Blue moon, blood moon, super moon, eclipse, and Lilith. That's not a thing. Were observed as major calendar events. I didn't want it was just a name. Uh, exact cultural practices vary, but Lilith Moon in particular was celebrated as a night for sweethearts and lovers. Rar. Did Furry write this? <laughs> I understand. Bakunawa. Hey, I can find out what that means. A massive joint venture between the Earth Dragons and Water Dragons, the Bakunawa, was a spacefaring arc ship designed to sail the stars? I'm sorry, what? So also I thought Bakunawa was the thing they kept saying is hello, it's not. So she... The evil water dragons wanting to revive this spaceship to leave? Is that bad? We're just like getting her to get off the planet. I don't know. Maybe she's going to attack everyone with her or something. Or go like summon meteor. 
A key feature was the experimental planet cracker beam. Why? No, actually why? Why would you need that for your spacefaring? You can make reasons for that to make sense, but our very first spaceship having a planet destroying death beam is not a thing you need. Capable of breaking apart matter and harvesting the materials to power and repair the ship. Yeah, that's your reason, but no. Sadly, construction was halted and then abandoned entirely in the wake of the Water Dragon War. A significant blow to the advancement of space travel. But didn't the Earth Dragons come from space? Why are they called Earth Dragons if they're from space? I don't understand. Hello, you're cool looking. Uh, yeah, let's look at this first. Look, why does one look like a lilac? Hmm, hmm, interesting. Huh, these statues look uncomfortably realistic. This one looks like it could have even, it could even be my mom. Skinned and stuffed in this museum. <laughs> I don't think I have time to unpack that thought right now. Wait, is it, it could, but, so is this your dad? Are there different looking kind of water dragons? Like some are blue with like the ear fins and then the other ones are not, I don't know. I'm confused. Huh, this looks different. D bye. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Oh, you've activated your bloodline technique. Oh, hello. New entry, Cordelia, <gasps> personal. Uh oh. Subject, ocean dweller rumors. Uh-huh. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising oh. from the ocean dwellers. A champion of immeasurable power. I wonder who that could biologically be. Engineered for oh, she's a super soldier. I don't Explains know why she's so strong. These rumors are, but given their current level of righteous descent, uh -huh. I dismiss their ability to craft such a beast. Mm -hmm. Father is convinced that we've run out of options for dealing with these savages. <laughs> if that's the case, <laughs> that's what I was looking for. Savage is a cool word, but not in that context. Left. Just like that old savage. Without his permission. I will leave the capital and head for Perusa to negotiate uh -huh. some kind of peace with the ocean dwellers. So Surely what? Is she not a water dragon? Because she looks like Lilac. Are you a different kind of dragon? Are you something else entirely? And she also had like a tail. You got a little nub thing. Dot 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 Magister, dot. How goes the research? Re I have talking numerous to how? about the war. But none of them have mentioned anything about Murga that we do not already Do we know. have iPhones? Got some news on that front. Uh -huh. I just found a personal audio log from someone named Cordelia, and she was talking about Murga. Well, you don't know that. I just said, like, somebody underground. Princess Cordelia? Are you a princess? What did she say? She said that Murga was a champion of some kind. She was fighting get back I against see. these evil Earth dragons. Look into the matter. You know, like you. you. focus on the imminent threat of Bakunawa. Uh-huh. Magister, I think... No. I know where to find more clues about Murga. Uh-huh. Is it from Murga? Does it not seem odd that you, of all people, stumbled upon this audio log? Almost like you're the main maybe character. What happens if anybody else does it? Or maybe someone is out to entrap you. <gasps> like Murga. She set up this civilization hundreds of course. years ago to trick you. Or something. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, you got time capsule. <laughs> got a time capsule. Neat. They ca wait. You found a time capsule. Complete new new battlesphere challenges to collect the remaining twelve. Wait, why do they have the rest of my notes? That may have been my mom. I don't know. Initializing. What? I have two other ones. Wait, didn't we watch one of these? Kingdom Stone. What's the one we just saw? Port Brevin. Ocean Dweller Rumors. Did we watch all of these? You might have. This is our final message. Yeah, we saw that one. If we already watched this, I apologize. I don't remember. Brevin, the intergalactic warlord, had planned to steal the Kingdom Stone, uh -huh. source of energy for all our world's technology. With the help of Lilac, the Water Dragon Warrior, and her friends, we drove back our Why alien Her and friends in different colors. But the scars of war remain. Oh, because Carol and... The Kingdom Stone okay. has been shattered. Its fragments scattered into the very air Shattered and scattered. Remnants of the alien attack force haunt us still, striking us at our most vulnerable, uh -huh. leaving us in a perpetual state of turmoil. It also might have released an ancient Lord being of, of destruction. Needs hope, but more than that, it needs heroes. Sonic Heroes! Wait, no, that's a different game and that has nothing to do with this. Anyway, <laughs> if we already watched that before, I apologize. No, I know, I looked at that, I was ready to go down. Down, down, and away we go! That was some heavy stuff right there! Interesting. Like the writing. I still do. 
But uh, I guess that is going to be it for this episode, because as soon as we go out there, we'll probably have more missions to select from. So, hey, this has been more Freedom Planet 2. I still freaking love this game. I'm so glad to be back for this. I Oh, man, I did not. I waited so many years for this to come back or come out after the first one, after they announced the second one. It's so worth it. Like, I, I was... Like, it look, it looks so pretty. There's so many layers and levels to the artistry and the, the writing's good. The gameplay's good. I'll say all this in the wrap-up, probably in the credits. I don't know. But it's good. I'm enjoying a lot. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this ride as well. But for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed some giant robot rampaging action. That was great. <laughs> Woo, maybe my favorite episode so far. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.